think again if you don't know these topics for Novdeck, these are topics which are always dropping in Novdeck every year time and time again so let's begin we have electricity in physics you always have it in your objectives section b as well as your practicals and with the electricity what you are mostly asked to do is to sometimes identify symbols as you can see here you are also required to know how to do your calculation know the ohm's law know the importance of household wiring electrical plug and then the color codes of the um, wires the next one is biology and in biology we are looking at variation variation always drops as i mentioned in the objectives section b and in the practicals as well and mostly what they do is they ask practical questions one of the resources you can use is the past question and you can find this in my channel on the playlist so just visit my channel to find where you can get free past questions to get questions on variation the next one is in chemistry and with chemistry i can assure you that once you know these chemistry topics you are likely to pass the the greater science because most of the questions are on the chemistry and why mostly gives questions based on topics that most students will not really do well and i'm working on a playlist for chemical compounds as well as more concepts so you can check my playlist to find it chemistry is my favorite course once you know it you are always going to get it right okay so this is chemical compounds and the next one over here is more concepts you should know um, different conversion units you should know more the mass of an atom relative atomic masses the molar concentration molar mass and so on how to balance chemical equations all of these have their foundational knowledge in chemical compounds so before you can do more concepts you should be a master of the first 20 elements balancing of equations naming of compounds and organic compounds as well you always have questions on organic compounds i can assure you of that i can always bet my last penny on that you always have questions on organic compounds so you take note of that as well then agriculture with agriculture you have animal production management practices and then you can also be given a diagram of an animal you'll be asked to name the digestive system the breeds of the animal whether ruminant or non-ruminant over here i'm showing you ruminant you should know how to care for them and then how they feed when it comes to crop production as well can be even crops how crops the vegetation how they are propagated and so on thank you for watching this video this is my channel by clicking on my channel logo to see more videos in science and math.